Our other top story this evening, perhaps you've noticed if you stepped outside, unusually warm temperatures hitting the Bay Area. In fact, we could even break some records this week. Let's get right to first alert meteorologist Paul Hagan. So 70s, even 80s, Paul? Some parts of the Bay Area are at least going to get close to 80 degrees later on this week. We're taking steps towards those warmest temperatures, though. Today's temperature is above average, but right now we're mostly in the 60s. It is up to 72 degrees still at Fairfield, down 57 degrees Half Moon Bay. 60s is where our temperatures have been for the last couple of weeks. That's not out of the ordinary, but we are going to continue warming up tomorrow and again on Wednesday. Beginning Wednesday, we've got three straight days of near record high temperatures and tomorrow's temperatures are going to be 10 plus degrees above average for most of the Bay Area, almost 70 in San Francisco and into the low 70s for Oakland, San Jose and Concord. We'll zoom in for a closer look at tomorrow's high temperatures and we'll take a look at the warmer part of the forecast that's going to arrive beginning on Wednesday coming up in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, Paul. Our team coverage continues now with KPX 5's Len Ramirez, who says the early spring could be trouble for one of California's biggest cash crops. Well, vineyard crews are still doing their wintertime activities, such as pruning the vines. These vines are dormant right now, but if this weather keeps up, they may not be dormant for long, and that could spell problems. Well, with this heat coming in, it doesn't look that great. Wine grower George Guglielmo has been through a lot of seasons since he grew up on his family's Morgan Hill Vineyard, but he can't remember a time like this when winter seems to be so quickly turning to spring. No 80 degree weather in February. It's usually uh, uh, very cool. It's usually damp. It's still the middle of winter and vineyard field crews are only about halfway through pruning the vines in preparation for the spring budding season, which according to the calendar should be more than a month away. But this unusual warm weather may be speeding things along. It fools the grapevine in this particular case into thinking it's spring. Well, what happens in spring? Everything starts to feel the heat and starts to move. And what you'll get is a uh, opening of the, the buds. Here the problem is there's still a threat of frost in the overnight and morning hours, which could be deadly to any new growth. So the vine's not going to die, but those first buds are the first buds that spring up and that shoot is going to just die right down as if you took a torch and went through the field. And that could cause production shortages. And it's not just grapevines, tree fruit could also be affected in the same way. Cherries, apricots, uh, strawberries, uh, uh, to the extent will hinder their production. So far from enjoying the warmer weather, growers are keeping a nervous eye on their fields, hoping Mother Nature doesn't follow this up with a cold snap. In Morgan Hill, Len Ramitas, KPIX 5.